guys, welcome back. This is Caroline. In today's video, we'll be painting some sunset skies with clouds. And I have the reference picture in the link in the description below. So do check it out if you're interested to paint along. And let's start off with materials. I have with me 300 GSM cold press 100% cotton. And today I'll be using this one here from Kenson Moulin Duroy. And I have it taped down on all four sides. And in terms of brushes, I'll be using this tree and this will be my Hick brush, which I'll be using to lay out the first layer of water for our wet on wet technique. And then I'll be using these two brushes. One is size 12 and this one is size 8. And here I'm using this brush that, that is almost like a mop brush so if you have a mop brush feel free to use that otherwise this one is a sable brush that I'm using and then this smaller brush will be for smaller strokes on the later part and paints wise I'll link them all down in the description below let's get started and let's use this Hick brush, I'm going to wet the entire area with water. Make sure that all areas are thoroughly wet because we'll be doing a full on wet on wet technique. And then I'm going to just lift this up to make sure that there's the gloss shine on every area that will make sure that all areas are wet and well covered and then right now I'm going to let the paint sink in a little bit and this step is really important before we start painting the sky since we will have very limited time it's good to prepare your paints beforehand on your palette and we will have some blue, so I'll be mixing indigo and then I'll add in a little bit of turquoise and some light blue and yes, one more thing before I forget please prepare two glasses of clean water one for cool colors and one for warm colors because mixing both together will give you muddy colors so I'll be separating them both in different jars and even on my palette here I'll be using it to prepare warm colors and cool colors at the bottom and then next I'll be going in with Naples yellow, Naples yellow and with a bit of cadmium yellow orange and some red so depending on the size of paper you're working on make sure to prepare enough colors on your palette because mixing colors also takes time and as the paper is drying that's not what we want because we might end up with harsh strokes so I'm going to wet this one last time And then I'll start off with indigo on top. So for the first layer, I will just lay out the basic colors of the skies. Going from indigo to turquoise to blue and then down to yellow and our warmer colors at the bottom. And then for the second layer, once it's all dry, we're going to top it up to paint in the clouds and right now I'm going in straight with indigo and I would 
because this paper it tends to dry off 30% lighter so I'm going to put more pigments in and then here we have the clouds on the left so I'll just blend this out And then going down to turquoise and then to the light blue around here. So I'm adding in more water into my brush to get a lighter sheet as we move downwards and then here I'm going to drop in Naples Yellow And I'm going to paint over the cloud a little bit because we have the clouds having the bottom part being yellow. So let's do that and a little bit yellow on the top here as well. have a little bit of blue so make sure to wash your brush thoroughly when switching between the yellow and blues and then here I'm going to start adding in the red and I'm just following the colors in the reference photo And then we have some here, some purple. I'm going to start with red and then add in some purple. And maybe I'll let this flow downwards. Let's do a bit of purple. I'll mix my red with blue. We have a bit of purple here. And feel free to rotate your paper around to let the colors flow. This will give it a more dynamic feel. And we have a bit of orange here, so I'll just add that now. Bit of orange on top. So I'm going in with part of the clouds. So you can see that I'm working very quickly right now and my paper is still wet which allows me to keep working
And I know I mentioned that I'll be doing clouds in the second layer, but I think I still have enough time to add more colors. So let's do some colors for the clouds as well. A bit of yellow here coming out. So I'm going to use my clean brush to lift it out a little bit and then fill it with yellow. And let's do some bit more here. And right now the paper is starting to dry. Let's see if I can still add some purple on top. Yep, still good. So right now I'm doing more of a dry brush with very little water in my brush. So more pigment, less water. Like this. Okay, so the paper has started to dry. Let's leave this for now and then I will go to quicken the process. I will use my hair dryer to dry off this layer and then we'll come back and proceed with the second layer. All right, now the first layer is all dry. And let's move on to our second layer. Before moving on, be sure to change and get fresh water. Now let's go on to our second layer. I am going to pre-wet the entire paper as we did for the first layer. And while doing this, be sure to be gentle not to disturb the bottom layer. Which is why I'm using Hake brush. And this brush has really soft hairs. So it doesn't disturb the bottom layer.
Okay, and then now I'm going in to add in the darker values of the shadows. We have some purple. So I'm going to start here. Playing around with a bit of red. Let's darken this a bit more. going to do a small cloud on top here and I'm bringing some of the reds out And right now I'm just adding more colors and I'm not really following the reference photo anymore just adding colors where I think needs more details or more attention Thank you. 
keep in mind that at this stage the paper is starting to dry and we will need to end soon. I'm probably going to darken this area a little more And that's all for our second layer. I'm going to dry this. And this is what the final piece looks like. And I hope you enjoy painting this with me. Do give it a try. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, happy painting, good luck, and I'll see you next week. Bye!